Good evening, Bozeman. It's an honor to be on this stage with the fellow presenters. Thank you for your stories. Life is good here in the Valley of the Flowers, but I would like to share with you an event that might make it even better for you. Contra dancing. Hmm, yeah, contra, yeah. That guy down in uh, Nicaragua selling all that contraband and uh, doing all that line dancing. Whoa, wait, it's way better than this. Contra is sometimes mistaken for these things, but it's way, way, way better. Contra is an amusement park ride with a group dance of couples moving in beautiful, rhythmic, weaving patterns. Each dance is slightly different and easy to learn. It gets your blood flowing, your face smiling, while dancing with everyone in the room at some point in the entire evening, even if just for a few seconds. In 98, my life took a new exciting turn when symphony choir friend Holly Ruheimer invited me to a contra dance in the upstairs ballroom of the Eagles Hall. I heard the lively music, felt the energy of the dance, and I was like a moth drawn to a very beautiful, unique flame. Where did contra come from? Short answer, England and France. In the 16th century, where it was called country dance, or contrary dance, which was eventually shortened to contra. Beethoven even wrote for contra dance. Remember Kira Knightley in Pride and Prejudice? That first scene is just one big, exciting, exuberant, early 19th century contra dance, combining all classes of people into a fun, raucous evening of dance with lots of smiling and sweating. Early American settlers brought contra dance to New England, where it was the family or neighborhood event of the week, often danced in living rooms, kitchens, or barns. In the 1920s, Henry Ford, a pretty fine fiddle player himself, promoted contra dances as the alternative to the smoky, evil jazz halls of the time. Fast forward to the 60s and 70s, where larger dances grew popular in New England, becoming the cool event for hippies and college students who were looking for peace, love, and escape from McCarthyism and the Vietnam War. Contra dancing provided harmony while dancing with friends and strangers to energetic folk music. Today in the United States, there are major three-day dance weekends where all good dance gypsies can go for their contra fix, with hundreds of other dancers getting together like family. We like to say that if Congress and the United Nations contra danced, we would have world peace. <laughs> contra hotspots are a good place to seek out a local dance any night of the week. Often following major population areas, contra is spreading rapidly. Google Contra Dance USA and you'll find hundreds of venues. And don't worry about going to a dance by yourself. You'll always feel welcome, no matter where you are. Here in Bozeman, we dance at various halls, like the Eagles, Senior Center, School Gyms, the Emerson Cultural Center, wherever we can rent a good wooden dance floor for a decent price. Contra dances normally cost anywhere from $8 to $10 for a three-and-a-half-hour evening. That's better than a movie. In each dance, you and your current partner do various dance moves that bring you to dancing those same moves with a different couple every 30 seconds. Contra dance is all about interacting with as many people as you can in an entire dance evening. Children who come with their parents to watch and enjoy the music often find themselves drawn into the dance because they see the adults having so much fun. Addie Cummings now plays contra music with his own band, and his father, Rab Cummings, is a longtime favorite contra dance caller and photographer here in Bozeman. Yes, it is true, it is the most fun you can have with your clothes on. <laughs> really. But what type of music? Can't you find good music with a good beat anywhere here in Bozeman? Well, here's what we love about our music, and this is the alternative. We always always have a live band with Irish, Celtic, or old-time music. Fiddle, guitar, mandolin, dulcimer, drums, foot percussion, all toe-tapping, foot-stomping, swing and sway music that stays in your head long after the dance is over. 
It's different, and that's what makes it so fun. Many of our dance steps are similar to square dancing, like courtesy turn your partner or star left in a circle. They're easy to learn and easy to do, and most moves are similar to what you did in elementary or high school gym class. Only no one is making you do it. The swing your partner move is one of the best things about contra dancing. Many ladies enjoy wearing long, swirly skirts that show off the colors in spins and twirls. And the balance the line move always revs up the energy level in every contra dance. All dances have an intro to contra session where you learn the basic steps with the dance caller. We then walk through the steps before each and every dance and then the music starts and hang on for the ride. If you miss a move, don't worry, someone is always there to catch you. Just keep moving and keep smiling. Why should you try contra dancing? The only real answer to this question comes when you actually go to a dance and try it. So step inside the hall and see how the dance compares to my description here tonight. You'll be glad you did. Be a doer, not a looker. At the dance, you'll see old friends and meet new ones, and you'll be exercising without even thinking about it. So bring your water bottle. It's all about community and connecting with as many people as you can in a dance evening. There are no hang-ups or wallflowers at a contra dance. So whether you go to a dance in Bozeman or in another state or another town, put contra dancing on your bucket list. The Contra connection is unlike anything you'll experience in your life. You'll be glad that you danced, and you'll want to invite your friends along to the next one. Thank you.